What up, folks? What up? How is it going? Uh, it's been a crazy couple days. Uh, uh, my side's hurting really bad. I don't know what's going on. My, uh... That's my girls. My girls. Yes, Rena. I love you. And there's Boots. Old girl. Old girl. Old girl. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Anyways. It's been, uh... It's been a crazy few days. Um, crazy few weeks. Crazy few months. Crazy few years. It's been a battle. That's for sure. Uh... Some mistakes I've made, some things I've learned, but right now I'm just battling with uh, pain and trying to get through the day. Uh, it's hard to do much right now. Um, yeah, I uh, went to my doctor's a few days ago or about a week ago. He checked me out. Everything was okay. I got a bunch of blood tests, uh, x-rays an ultrasound um and still not finding what is wrong such bad pain that in the mornings i'm basically crippled over on the couch uh, i can only lay on my back if i lay on my sides it hurts if i walk around it hurts if i sit in the friggin truck and drive it hurts um so then i went back a day or two later because it's like really bothering me and uh, my results were good. Everything came in clean. And, uh, you know, I'm telling them, like, there's something wrong. And I had back surgery a year ago, and I have a small canal that's going up my spine, smaller than normal, which has caused all sorts of issues. So, um, basically... Uh, my nerves are inside my canal and they're being pinched off and there's my surgery was because my disc had grown so far into my canal my that it was pushing on my spinal cords and paralyzing me at times and just putting me through all sorts of issues and again they couldn't find the issue before i had a whole bunch of problems here <laughs> and uh I had all, I had two epidurals, I had all sorts of shots in my spines, I had probably 20 or 30 x-rays, they were basically telling me that I was full of crap, and uh, um, finally they, after basically going to eight emergencies over three years, probably 20 emergencies over three years, honestly, and on all sorts of medication from Percocets to morphine to Oxycontin, they finally did the surgery and they found that there was my disc, like I said, my disc was sticking so far into my spinal cord. When they pulled it out, it actually pulled a big chunk off of there and spinal fluid had started coming out and so they had to do some extra work in there. Um, it was really awesome after that. Uh, I had no pain. I was off medications. Everything was good. And uh, um, it's been pretty good. Uh, so now he's saying that this, spon this canal thing has something to do with my guts. My guts and kidneys and whatever else is whatever's going on in there. And... Uh, I had issues with my back. I know my back. You know what I'm saying? And I know my insides and my gut. So I'm trying to tell them that I'm 99% sure that there is something else wrong in there. It feels something, feels like it's twisting and, and uh, it, it, there, it feels like somebody's punching me in the kidneys all the time. You know, there's very minimal relief uh, at all times, if, if any, and on my back is probably the, the best situation in the mornings. I can't even, doesn't, nothing helps, you know, uh, my Oxycontins weren't touching it. My, they just give me a Toradol shot. I, I, 
you know, so nothing's touching it. So anyways, my whole point of this is, yeah, I, uh, I'm telling them it's not. So anyways, I went and got a second opinion yesterday. They took more blood tests. They took more x-rays. Uh, they're going to order a camera down my throat and a CT scan. Which, you know, that's my whole point. You need to investigate a little more before you just send me, which he is doing, sending me for an MRI because he thinks it's my back. Well, there's more things you can do to investigate if somebody says they're 99% sure it's not their back when they've already been through that. And that's what everybody has to realize that, you know, because they're saying something, not always, but they're not necessarily right. You know, if you can take extra steps to make sure that that there isn't anything wrong with you, and uh, then do that. You know, go get the second opinion. Go get the third opinion. Find somebody that is understanding on what you're going through and is going to do the research that needs to be done and the tests that need to be done. Not go send you for an MRI when you're telling, you know... Um, and when you're telling them that, that it's not your back. Um, they can see other things on the MRI too. So, you know, there there is possibly a solution to that. But uh, there's other tests that can be done. So, yeah. So, we're going to do a bunch more things. I went and got a second opinion at the hospital. And we're going to do a few more things. 